Knee up the butt. He slides his knee over. Other knee. Yep. Rotate up. Rotate this shit down and fight. Go. All the way. Yep, that one. Good. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good. It's like this. Hips start coming out. Hips come out. Right. So tight waist, chop these guys. All right, again. Come on top. Tight waist, chop. Go. Just, I, I, I got to push back. I got to protect. Look, maybe I'll try this. He tight waist, chop. Go ahead. He breaks my position. I'll, I'll lift this up. And then once I lift it up, watch. I'll change them. Pull my head out. You see that? So he's got me. Tight waist, chop. Right? As I go, if he gets me to here, I, got to, I need help. There's no part of my body that can help me right now other than my right knee and my right hip. I gotta get it under. Right here. Keep my hand away. Now I start fighting up. Watch it. Watch the light come in. Watch the cradle. Throw it off me. I'm out. I'm out. Questions? Okay. Okay, he's down. No legs come in. If he does get a leg, oh no, no, no. If he does get a leg in, right? He's doing this leg. Look, there's no leg in if I do this. Watch. Put your leg. Put your leg. And then I bring it back behind my butt, and I bring my knee back to my knee. All right? So, I'm wrestling, he tightly chops me, right? I'm fighting up, he slips a leg in. All right, I feel it, straight in the bottom line. Bring it back, and get back to starting position. Yeah? And so no legs. All right? Or he gets a leg in, he gets a leg in, and so look, my other foot comes over. I call for help. If he drapes it in all the way, I gotta watch this arm, protect over here. Right? And he's hanging on now. I'm hit him down here, not hit him down and step over. Right? Come on, watch this. You got it. anybody have a leg right here? Okay. So we're gonna ride like this. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Right here. Introduce his heel to his butt, back of his arm. I'm not going to I'm not gonna throw him off. My foot, my leg's not even in. Right? And I drive him down. And then we rest. Now we start wrestling. Knee up the butt, now I'll wrestle. Take it over. Right? Bar his arm. Start going to work on it. But I'm not a big fan of this. You know, drape the leg all the way in. And hang on here. Listen, it breaks some habit, but it's not the best way. My hips are on. Put the foot right here, get up on top. Drive him down. And then we rest. All right. Go ahead. Coach, how do you yes, defend uh, if we're pushing back and they pull us into a crab rush? It's frustrating. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough. <coughs> it's tough. It's tough. And I think. We gotta, we, gotta, we gotta know the skill, but also, but also, if you want to be the best team in the state on the map, I think we'd all argue that you've got to spend more time than any other team on the map. And <clears throat> that's what we're getting to at Ohio State. You know, sometimes the interesting things you learn from your athletes. You know, like Logan Stever, been doing this for 22 years, you've got to sit in a place, this guy is mulling people on top. So you start because you're an athlete, dominating that position, the whole team starts to catch on. You know, and they start to take the take the uh, the habits of, of the of the guys that are winning. So it's, it's a heavy focus for us on top, you know, and on bottom. So anyway, particularly when you've got a guy that's sitting in an NCAA champion and isn't. And as we know, there are no guarantees in life. He may never get another shot at that. Thinking though, but we never know. So, first option, right? And I'll get into that question. I know I'll give you the answer. 